Welcome back to Vegan Sing. Today we're going to be making something that no one thinks is possible to make vegan. Yogurt or curd or dahi. You guys are probably thinking, why do I have a chili in my hand? Well, this is the key to making your first batch. You guys probably think I'm crazy. I mean, I am a chemist at heart. I'm no Heisenberg. You can just say, I'm Veganberg. Haha, <laughs> you get it? <sighs> no one ever gets my jokes. <laughs> well, I get my jokes, so it's all good. This is the key to your first batch. So what's holding us up? Let's get started. Ayo chalye. I've gone through a lot of experimentation, trial and error, to make that perfect yogurt with that creamy consistency and that tangy taste that we all love. The key here is to emulate the macros within 2% milk. To get the fatty macros, I've poured a half a cup of each, cashew and peanut milk. But yogurt's not supposed to taste nutty, so to offset the really strong nutty flavor, we're adding a cup of unsweetened soy milk to neutralize the flavor and make it more tangy. We're cooking the milk mix on a simmer for five minutes. It'll start to bubble. And you want to continue to mix as well because you don't want to burn the milk either. So you got to keep mixing and then it'll come to a simmer within five minutes. Once it comes to a simmer, you want to go ahead and turn off the heat and just let the milk cool. Here's the secret. How are we going to activate the cultures? Well, we're going to use chilies. Gidda! Time for the Punjabi word of the episode. Joglona. So you're up for a jog. Jog? Jog tai bebe lo nindi rati dod nu. What? Best scene ever by far. <laughs> Maybe. Jog just means the preparation of making the milk into yogurt. We need bacterial cultures to convert the milk into yogurt, so we're going to be using stems of chilies. We'll be using 12 and this will help that conversion. Next time you make your yogurt, you can just use the existing yogurt you've already made. The chili stems are just for your first batch. Only add the stems once the milk has cooled down to a lukewarm temperature. Check with your finger. The milk needs to stay in a warm climate for 12 hours. I live in a cold climate, so I'm putting it in some blankets. 12 hours later, it's time for the big reveal. Cross your fingers, hopefully this worked out. Oh no, let's see. What? It worked. Oh my God, that's yogurt. Let's check this out. Does, does this, is this really yogurt? Oh snap, that's yogurt. Well, get ready to make some vegan lussi and some vegan uh, mutter paneer. Let's go guys. 